Christ. So many different things. You know, they ignore this. They think they don't have to do that. I do this. I've been doing 40 years. Still I have to do it. Very simple exercise, very important. That's why I tell people, remember the routine of this. This is 800 years history. Nobody knew to the earth. Now, in the question, no? you didn't know that, did you? I how long have you been counted? But here, you didn't know this? No? How long have you been? Yeah? So every single single move we make is very, very, many deep meaning. Even this too can step in. So I'm going to teach you this. Today is from, uh, you know, Kiyon Undo. Say Kiyon Undo. So you get copy for me, the remember word. Kion Undo means basic, it's not a basic or foundation exercise. It's a kata exercise, part of kata. Okay? You got actually have this in your knee. So you watch now, only you. Okay? See? H. This was at me. No. Okay. But no. his hand is longer, and if you don't want to force him, like, he can hit him like that. Okay. So when you go after you're punching like this, there's something hidden in this hand. See? Hey. Now, see? So you are punching. This hand is not showing. But actually, this hand is so in the kappa, something that is a hidden. See? So you have to be a parallel, parallel to the floor. Okay? Otherwise, you go this way, no good. The hand is not going to be good. You shoot what? Straight, okay, do not this way. That would damage. If you shoot this way, go to this way, you feel that way. You understand? Yes, yes, yes. Same idea, punch. You don't punch for me after like this. But Japanese. We're now on the blocking section. This one is a cat stance um, nekwash with keiran shutoke. Hitch. Ni. San, she, go, no, sitch, hai moate. So you want to start to create uh, hip turning and wrist turning, and we'll talk about that in a little bit. But when we do this, you want to turn this way. So this has to come up to the shoulder, up to the shoulder to make the block. This comes this way. So when you move, you want to deliver this technique down. And you can do the same drill that we did, just a single hand. But what you want to make sure is that you cover right underneath your belly button and turn the body. So we're going to show a couple of things that Keiran Shitoke can be. Uh, first one is obvious. So as she throws the kick, the cat stance actually sets you back. So we don't really fight from cat stance. We move back into cat stance. Uh, so as the kick comes in and I move, you can just simply clear the technique away. So this is one. But when you get a little more advanced, we don't really want to move backward so much. We'll settle back. If a person grabs you like this, and you bring yourself into cat stance, so you're lowering your body, and you're bringing this up, as soon as you move, you can also perform neck wash, okay, just like this. So one of the things that we do that we forgot to mention is a lot of times we start 
the technique with the left side forward. Uh, meaning, in this case, it's the left foot forward, but because I'm doing the attacking, I'm going to start with the right hand out. I'm going to kick and set down into the left side. Itch. Ni. San. Shi. Go. Roko. Sitch. Hayamawate. One of the things that you want to make sure that you do when you put the kick out is that you bring it back and the foot is parallel to the floor before you set it down. You set it down in a natural walking stance. So if you kick and you go too long because you don't pull your foot back, you're going to not have the proper stance to execute the punch. The next technique in our, our 11 moving basics happens to be a block. We use it in first kata on the first move. It's down block and lunge stance. One of the things that you used to watch or observe sometimes if you're around uh, Nagamini Sensei was he was always turning his wrist like this. And I asked him one time, are your wrists sore, Sensei? Are you okay? And he said, oh no, just staying loose. So what we want to do when we perform the techniques is turn our wrist in. So as you do this, you want your hips to turn, but you also want your wrist to turn. This wrist actually turns this way as it comes out. This wrist turns this way. So when you move, it creates snap. Just like this. So when we work on down block, when you're first learning it, as the kick comes out towards you, you strike and you notice, oh, I need to do more arm training. Well, down the road, you figure out that it's not always about whose arm is stronger, whose leg is stronger. Sometimes you need technique over power. So when she throws a, pump, uh, a kick, rather, as the kick comes in, this hand can actually do this type of action. So to clear it out, now you attack just to move it to the side. You can attack higher. If she kicks with the left foot, this would be groin attack. Or if she punches, this is a block here. This can be the attack here. Or to the side and attack down. In our 11 moving basics, we talked about uh, how to turn around once you get to the last one. So let's back up a bit. If you get to the wall and the count is still going, rather than switching feet, you will just simply stop and wait till you hear the word turn or moate. Now in all the techniques, such as cat stance, you move this foot over. If I'm in a punch, I step over. Headlock, over. But when I'm in a lunge stance, I don't move this foot. I move the back leg. So from here, I just turn this way, over. We're now on our attacking phase. This is Oizuki. Oizuki is chasing punch or really like side squat punch. Um, you typically, anytime that you punch, you ki. And we want to step in a straight line and then pivot our body. Itch. Hey. Ni. Hey. San. Hey. Shi. Hey. Mawate. Now, Soke did say that it was okay to slide just a little bit on this technique as long as you kept the technique intact because a lot of people have a lot of force and they move forward. So a little slide is okay. Itch. Hey. Ni. Hey. San. Hey. 
Shi. Hey. Hiya, Moate. So the last one in the series, we finish off with a block. This is Chudan uh, Sutoke or Outward Middle Block. One of the things that you want to make sure that you do is twist the wrist and turn the hips. So it comes off the shoulder this way and turns over just like this. So you barely are making contact with your body because you're accelerating this way. So block here, uchuki, and outward. And you will step with each succession.